The winter months are the peak season for getting the flu. So far, it's been a good year for putting faith in getting a flu shot. But the virus can still be deadly, especially for people with higher risk. To bring us up to date and share some advice is the medical director of the Boston Public Health Commission, Dr. Jennifer Lowe. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, doctor. My pleasure. Thank you. Doctor, compared with last year, how are we doing this year? This year, in comparison to last year, we're just seeing a slight uptick in the number of cases, but we're about even with the number of total cases that have been reported in the city of Boston with regards to the flu. Now, I, I've always wondered, uh, what exactly is the difference between the flu and the common cold? The flu is a specific type of virus, um, so the symptoms are generally much more uncomfortable or severe, high fevers, body aches, chills, and coughing, but people generally symptomatically know this is the flu. It's, it's very uncomfortable, but technically speaking, it's, it's a specific kind of virus that affects you. Now, a, a lot of us have had those symptoms and we say, you know, at least after a couple of days, it's no big deal, but there are some people for whom it is a big deal. Uh, what are we talking about? Very much so. People um, have higher risks of getting si very sick from the flu. So for instance, those who have weakened immune systems, people with diabetes, with heart disease, cancers, or elderly people, when they get the flu, they don't just stay out of work for a couple days, they can be hospitalized, they can die. Similarly, very young children or children um, in general can have uh, very bad responses to flu and can be hospitalized, people with asthma. So those are just some examples of um, individuals who, if they get the flu, they don't just get uh, sick for a couple days, they actually have to get hospitalized or, or can get um, can have serious consequences. And of course, a lot of people in their 20s and 30s who feel like they're in great health, uh, they don't worry about getting the flu themselves, but they might be around people who have to be taken care of, right? That's exactly right. Um, people who are overall healthy, they don't think that getting the flu vaccine is very necessary because they'll just, if they get sick, they can manage it. But if you're around a two month old or an elderly person, or, or you may not know that someone you're, you spend a lot of time with has a medical condition that puts them at risk. If you give them the flu, they can get very sick. So it's really the, the people you come into contact with are at, higher, at high risk, even if you're a, a young 20 or 30 year old healthy person. So what does that mean? I mean, you, you can't break off contact with people, but if you have the flu, how do you minimize the risk of spreading it? So very basic um, rules of hygiene. So if you are sick, first of all, what does that mean? If you have a fever higher than 100 degrees, if you're coughing and body aches, uh, you should stay home from work, stay home, stay away from people who you don't want to give it to. Um, you can also just wash your hands if you have to cough, cough into your sleeve. Um, it's just basically respiratory droplets, the droplets that come from your mouth. Try not to give them to other people. Now, of course, if you don't have the flu, yet you're worried about getting it, so you know, you're riding the T, it's packed, or you go to work, there are a lot of people around. How, you know, how do you protect yourself? You know, I think again, trying to um, try not to be in line of sight with people who you think are sick. It's it's the direct contact. So if I'm facing you, then and you're sick and you cough on me, I'm going to get sick. So try and just minimize the direct contact if people um, look sick. Otherwise, wash your hands again um, and try not to cough on other people. <laughs> This is BNN News. We're talking with Dr. Jennifer Lowe from the Boston Public Health Commission. Uh, doctor, the other thing people do to prevent the flu is they get a shot. Uh, last year, that didn't work so well. So what's different this year? This year, the uh, vaccine is an H1N1 strain, and it matches up with the active strain um, that is most predominant this year. So we're quite lucky. If you got the flu vaccine this year, chances are, and you, got, um, you get exposed to the active flu virus, it matches up with the vaccine. So you're fairly well protected this year. Now, getting a vaccine is easier than it used to be. Uh, you can go into CVS or Walgreens, but uh, and if you got an insurance card. But for people who don't have insurance, um, what about them? 
Yes, yeah, so in the city of Boston, we have the mayor's hotline. It's 311. Anyone who has questions, honestly, about anything in the city, but specifically access to health care, insurance, vaccines, we can provide that information. We actually have a voucher program for those people who don't have insurance. They can acquire um, a voucher and get a flu vaccine for free. But if you have any questions about accessing health care or, or about anything in the city specifically, you can call 311 and there'll be someone to provide you with information. Now, of course, another thing going around uh, the whole country is the, you know, the reports that immigrants who don't have legal status, who take advantage of any kind of government program, might be a risk of eventually having to leave the country. What about health care? What should they be thinking about? I think at this point in time, there have been no changes that should affect people's health care. People should prioritize their health care regardless of their immigration status. Um, and if they have concerns, again, they can call the mayor's health line at 311 and we can have people advise them on what to um, be concerned about or not be concerned about. But at this point in time, they really should prioritize their health and seek care. Of course, one, one other thing we, we should mention, and then this is not just about the flu, but the advantage of getting some kind of a connection to a regular health care provider who, who knows about you uh, through the community health centers. What should people be thinking about? Um, so we are very fortunate within Boston that there are uh, an enormous amount of resources. Community health centers specifically, the federally qualified health centers, are required to provide care regardless of income, regardless of, of status, of immigration status. So we're, again, we're very lucky. You can uh, obtain health care from any of those institutions regardless of your or, uh, insurance status. And again, you can call 311 and we can provide you a list very easily. Thank you very much for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you. Dr. Jennifer Lowe from the Boston Public Health Commission.